Hi and welcome to M0WBK Reviews and today we're looking at the Apache Lamps LN100D HF and 6 meter transceiver 100 watt transceiver and uh, obviously uh, software defined so uh, there's the main unit uh, one big heat sink really um, fairly heavy uh, here's the mic, goes into 3.5mm um, plug, headphones, there's the key and the Ethernet cable, uh, which goes to the computer. On the back, um, it's got a quite an array of uh, connections available uh, for different antennas and all manner of stuff. Uh, I can't turn it around because it's uh, all the wires are, are plugged in, but it's quite impressive actually on the back. So uh, there's the main unit. Uh, these are not cheap radios. They're far from it. Uh, they're about, uh, I think they're be between two and a half and two thousand seven hundred pound, um, around that kind of area. So uh, let's have a look at the screen. Uh, just uh, excuse the camera work. a half decent uh, computer or laptop uh, for one of these there we go uh, they take uh, <coughs> a fair bit of processing power to get these running this one just about manages it I think it's got about four four uh, megs of RAM so it just about does it okay. It could do with uh, being a bit better, but this one's a bit old, this laptop. Anyway, there's the main screen. Uh, obviously, uh, the pen adapter here. Um, there's all different changes you can make here. There's a scope. Uh, a phase. There's the waterfall. That's called a, a histogram. Sounds like something medical, but it's uh, obviously not. And uh, there's a mix between the two. The panafall. And a scope and a spectroscope. So we'll go back to the, just the standard pan adapter. So uh, just up here, we follow the, uh, the cursor. There's the on and off switch basically, and that's uh, the second receiver. There's a monitor, a TX button, a MOX button doesn't come with a tuner as standard um, here you've got your record and play facilities um, master AF uh, AF for uh, first receiver, AF for second receiver RF gain, AGC gain which, which, which works extremely well actually I must say here's your drive power so uh, 0 to 100 watts or so AGC, attenuation, squelch, and over here, noise reduction, notch filter, noise blanker. Very good noise reduction on the NM100D. Um, here's an average or peak for the uh, pan adapter, as you can see there. Um, here's the mic, compressor, vox, uh, down download expander for noise gate and over here to your right is your bands, your modes, bandwidth, bandwidths and shifts and the S meter up here and they, you know these can all be changed colours and so on 
Uh, this has got an analog and a digital one up there. Here's your VFO frequencies. And as you can see, we're, we're pretty much looking at the at the whole of the... Let's just move that along slightly. Pretty much the whole of 40 metres. Um, lots and lots of features, really full featured. Um, 10 band EQ for uh, receive and TX. You know, you could go on and on and on. The initial setup can take a little time um, with calibrations and getting the PA uh, set just right here. But this is what you initially do at the beginning. And once set, no need to uh, be troubled anymore. So uh, you don't have to be a, a computer whiz for, by any means, but you certainly need to know your way around a, a computer. A little daunting to start with, um, but you can soon get around it. You can change the appearance and uh, RX displays, the colours of everything really. Um, but without going too deeply into it, it gives you a gist of uh, of what it's about. So uh, let's just give it a, some a little bit of volume. Now, of course, tuning tuning is done. Uh, by the, the keypad, by the keyboard I should say. There's the, uh, the WAB claim. Not part of that club, to be quite honest with you. Um, Uh, of course you can narrow this up, make it wider. Uh, your transmit profiles, I mean, they can go on and on. There we go, you can sound like a, a D104. Um, an HC4 or 5 element, PR40 with an EQ, and so on, the list goes on. Um, you can obviously uh, make your own as well in the equaliser up there, uh, which I thought I had, but uh, that could do with a little bit more uh, tops in there, I think, for the uh, microphone I'm using. There we go. So, I think that probably, you know, it, it, it just shows you it's basically a, a rig on a screen if you're not familiar with SDR. Very nice receiver, I must say. Uh, filtration is good. Um, it, it's, it's, it's very, very nice. Take some time to get used to. I'm a this is my first venture uh, into SDR and this rig has uh, incidentally been kindly loaned uh, uh, by Justin uh, of Innova Antennas and, uh, and Walters and Stanton 
kindly uh, let me borrow this for a time uh, to have a play about with it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed. Whether I'm going to go down the route of, uh, of having one myself, I'm not sure yet. I do like the idea of it. It's the future, I think, of, uh, of ham radio. But it is still, I still feel it's, uh, it's nice to have an actual uh, a VFO knob and some, some uh, you know, a physical radio that you, you play with. But of course, this is the future, probably. Uh, well, no doubt about it. Full featured. Um, you know, and every parameter can be changed and uh, made it exactly how you want it. Um, of course, audio-wise, um, okay, we shouldn't have uh, too wide of audio, but if you like that kind of thing, this, you know, it goes up indefinitely. Um, you, you can have yourself sounding uh, like a broadcast station. So, it's yes, it's fantastic. It's very good. And uh, yes, I would recommend one. If, if you know, I, I think I would recommend it to anybody that was thinking about it. But of course, you know, don't go head first into it if you haven't got a clue about uh, about laptops or com computers. You know, you do have to play about with it to get it set up. It certainly took taken me a, a couple of days or so. Anyway, that's just the uh, that's the brief look of the uh, Apache Labs and NN 100D transceiver. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, 73 for now, uh, from M0WBK.